And right now, residents at an apartment complex in Folsom are worried about their safety after a man was killed when a stairway collapsed. And now we're hearing from a man who saw it all happen. The lower section collapsed, mm -hmm. and then the upper section wouldn't hold all the load, and then the whole thing collapsed and land on him. KCRA 3's Tom Miller is live at the Willow Creek apartment complex. And Tom, you spoke exclusively with the victim's friend who was also on that stairwell when it gave way. What is he saying tonight? Rob, there's serious concern here tonight among residents as this isn't the first time a stairwell's collapsed at this complex. There was a similar incident about a year ago. However, no one was injured in that case. You can see that there are crews still working here to board off the stairwell that collapsed. Meantime, there are friends that are in shock and mourning after watching the young man lose his life here right before their eyes. A glaring hole remains in the spot where a stairwell should be. Those stairs now lie at the bottom of a hallway after the stairwell connecting the second and third floors collapsed, killing a man. I just made it out of the stairway, uh -huh. and then he was just like one or two steps behind me. He, he almost made it. At about 2.40 Friday afternoon, Jeff Mao and the victim, a friend, were leaving a third-story unit at the Legends at Willow Creek Apartments in Folsom when tragedy struck. I barely make it out of that collapse. And he, the victim was just behind me, and he, the stair, stairway collapsed. As the whole section collapsed, there's nothing like break, breaking down or anything, but the whole section collapsed. And he fell, and the stair landed on his body. Last year, another stairwell fell here, prompting the owners, Gerson Baker and Associates, to begin remodeling the stairwells, but not quickly enough. Is it fair to say the company knew there was a problem, but just didn't fix it in time? It's fair to say the company uh, was aware of a problem and was in the process of fixing it. This stairwell was waiting to be worked on, but construction hadn't started. Meanwhile, residents who live here are worried a similar accident will happen to them. There have been issues already. We thought it's fixed, but it's not. Luckily, last year, it didn't harm anyone. They just fell during the day and nobody was around. Um, but this time, clearly, it was a tragedy. A tragedy Folsom's chief building official is now investigating with the help of a structural engineer, although what caused the collapse is still unknown. Were the bolts too short? Was the wood rotten? Were they not tightened? A number of things could have happened, but you know, when gravity takes over. As for Mao, he says it could have just as easily been him. With the loss of a friend, he's both heartbroken and stunned. It's just shocking. I'm, I'm still, I, I still can't believe this happened. I, I would think, it's, is, it, is it real? I just can't believe this. The building opened in 1999, so it's only about 16 years old. Its owners are vowing to get more crews in here this weekend to, to fix up all of the other stairwells throughout the entire complex. And Tom, just a heartbreaking story for the victim's friend. Now, we know residents were told not to use the stairwells on that building following the collapse. What's their status now? Well, Rob, uh, residents who live here are being allowed back up these stairwells, but there are security guards stationed at them telling them to tread lightly. Meantime, I spoke with some residents who say they just don't feel comfortable going up the stairs, so they're going to spend the night elsewhere. Reporting live in Folsom, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News. Tom, thank you. And we have more.